Welcome back. In this video, we'll be practicing a posture from Body and Brain Tai Chi and Qigong. This posture is known as the Empty Step, and it's very good for your balance and also the strength and flexibility of your hip joints. So let's start with a little bit of energy breathing. You can raise the hands and breathe in, feel your chest, exhale, push the hands out, and pull everything back down. All right, warming up the legs. Let's start by doing some heel raises. Activate your feet and ankles, spread out the toes. Feel your calf muscles contract and you wanna be strong all the way up into the core. So feel those inner thighs all the way down to the feet, activating. Next, let's warm up the knees with a gentle rotation, hands on the kneecaps. Rotate five times in one direction and then switch direction. Keeping the feet flat, don't overdo it. You just wanna softly warm up the knees. Now from inside to outside, and then from outside to inside. So just a quick, gentle rotation. You can do a little bit more if you want to warm up more deeply. Next one, hip rotation. Lifting up one leg, rotate from the hip. You gotta practice balancing. Now if this is tough, you can touch the rotating leg down, touch your foot down each time. You just want to feel that hip joint starting to work. You want to feel the opposite hip muscles starting to engage to hold you up and balance. Okay, one more warm up. This one is going to be little hip circles, standing both feet flat on the ground and just rotate from the waist. So you're rotating the hips. You want to feel your lower back, pelvic muscles, hip joints becoming more active, a little bit warmer. You can loosen up that lower back and gently stretch it out. All right, shake out your hands. We are ready to practice this empty step, otherwise known as hobo posture in Korean. So Tai Chi breathing, hands come up, breathe in, feel the chest expand, feel the abdomen become a little warmer, a little bit stronger. As you exhale, bring your hands down and relax. Relax the shoulders, relax the chest. Bring your mind down into your body. Okay, so we're shifting the weight into my right leg. Now, you're watching this. I want you to mirror if you're practicing and watching. I want you to shift the weight into your left leg, and the right leg is nice and light. So you're bending the right knee and just touching the ball of the foot or the toes of the right foot on the ground. Your weight is heavy on your left leg and return. Now we're going to switch, so we're going to shift the weight into your right leg. Yes, it's my left leg. You do the mirror image. Put your weight in the right leg, empty the left leg, and just touch the ball of the foot or the toes. And you wanna get a good sense of being strong, but not, not heavy. You don't wanna be stuck in this posture. You do want the feeling to be heavy on that side, but you wanna be able to move quickly if you need to. All right, let's do it again. Shift your weight into your left leg empty your right foot and leg so it's just kind of floating there it's nice and light and now we can add the hands so mirror image again raise your right hand and extend out slightly bent elbow not completely straight and then the left hand elbow is bent hand just about solar plexus level kind of coming towards the middle of your body all right switch again shift your weight into the right leg Empty your left leg, touch the toe or the ball of the foot. So it's kind of like you're balancing on one leg, but you're keeping that foot in contact with the ground for balance. The left leg, left hand, both of them are light. Your right side is heavy and grounded. Your left side is light and it can extend. Good, return. And take a little break. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So especially if this is new to you or if balancing is not easy, you want to relax, make sure you're not getting too tense. And now we can start again. Make the left leg heavy, empty the right leg, touch. See if you can sink in, sit down a little bit deeper into that posture. You're just touching that right foot lightly on the ground, maybe 5 or 10% of your body weight touching there. 
Your arm should be light, your shoulders relaxed, but your wrist is flexed, your fingers are a little bit active. Good, let's switch. Put the weight into your right leg, become heavy in the right leg, become light on the left side. Your left arm floating, your left leg kind of floating, just touching. You don't want to be stuck in this posture. You want to still feel very agile. Now we're going to stay here a little bit longer as we keep practicing. We're going to let the body kind of sink in and let the energy gather more deeply. Keep breathing. Keep relaxing your shoulders. Again, heavy in the left leg. Empty the right foot and touch the toe. Extend the right hand. Now you can practice lifting up that right foot. Your weight is fully centered in the back leg. If you have to kind of shift your body back and forth, it means you might be putting too much weight into the right foot. And switch. So put all that weight, about 90, 95% of your weight on the right foot, empty that left foot and practice lifting it up without shifting your balance very far forward or back. You should already be centered over that right leg. Again. Now, if you've practiced lifting the foot, then whenever you touch it down, you should feel very stable. Now, if this is difficult, go ahead and keep that foot down the whole time, or even keep your hand on a wall or on a table. What you want to practice is putting more weight into that standing leg. You want to build up the strength of that leg over time. So you got to give yourself a little challenge. Let that leg get stronger. But you don't want to be tense. You don't want to be at risk of falling over. If your balance is compromised, start very comfortably. All right, now we're starting to flow a little bit more naturally from side to side. Notice the weight shift comes first. And as we settle in, then we can open up that arm and leg. You may feel some warmth on your hands. You may feel a little magnetic feeling, a little feeling of pressure. As this posture gets easier and more natural for you, you're going to be able to feel a movement like energy flowing and also grounding. So if you're up for it, let's try fully balancing in this empty step. You're really emptying out this right leg, put your weight in the left leg. And switch. Put your weight fully on the right, try to lift up that left leg. Keep the upper body light, don't let your upper body get tense. And balance. Good, again. Now if you're ready, you can lift up that leg a little higher, see how much the hip joint can be flexible and strong. If it tenses up your chest and shoulders, you might need to work a little bit more on those hips. Just take your time. Practice every day and you'll notice a change in your balance, in your strength and your flexibility. All right, bring it back. Breathe in and breathe out. As you warm up the legs, you should notice a very comfortable feeling, energy grounding. The head becomes a little clearer, especially if you're able to practice this somewhere outdoors with nature. We say energy is flowing, energy is grounded, you feel different. Now I'm going to move more naturally back and forth from side to side, kind of flowing into this empty step. And you can make your movements a little bit more creative, but don't lose that sense of balance and strength. Your upper body should be light, your lower body simple, strong, and balanced. 
This is also going to be good for your breathing. It can be good for your spinal posture, your alignment. You can work on that. If you're outdoors and with bare feet, you can also have the effect of grounding your energy through the soles of the feet. Good. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share this video with somebody that you think it could help. And we'll see you next time.